Hello, it's Richard Bowser from Property Investor News Magazine here at the Landlord Investment Show at London's Olympia. And I'm here with Peter Littlewood from iHouse. Good afternoon, Peter. Hello, Richard. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Good to see you again. Uh, Peter, you and I have known each other for many, many years. iHouse is the newly rebranded name for what was previously the Southern Landlords Association? Indeed, yes. We rebranded re because the Southern was very restrictive. People thought we were just the South Coast, we'd cover the whole country. And also a landlord association, what's a landlord association? Confusion there. So I house, I for information, how to do it, I house tenants, there's a method in the madness. Oh, that, there's, there's complete logic from, from, <laughs> from, from what I can see. Peter, um, you're based down on the South Coast. Uh, a, a lot of uh, members of I house, previously the SLA, based in, in the southern region, but also nationally. So. We, we, last week we were speaking uh, uh, about something that's happened specifically in the Brighton area involving licensing, which we're going to be reporting on in the upcoming Property Investor News magazine. So tell me about this, this, this situation that's occurring down in Brighton. Well, it's very simple that Brighton wanted to bring in selective licensing, which is licensing for non-HMOs, but they wanted to do a huge area, 27,000 properties. Uh, basically, we were just against it, just completely unnecessary. Uh, cut a very long story short, it went to the Secretary of the State for permission. We objected, they got permission, we objected again and threatened with judicial review. The Secretary of the State overturned it last week. So the selective licensing at the moment is not going to go ahead. Okay, and that's in the Brighton area, the whole of the Brighton area? Yes, well, several wards in the Brighton area, not in the city centre. And, and approximately how many properties would that, would that cover? 27,000. That's a large number of properties. That, that's not very selective, Peter. No, that was our point. You know, it's selective licensing was being completely misused. It's there for a reason. It's there for a small area which has been poorly managed, license it, and then deal with that problem. It's not there, just carte blanche to license everything. So it is a significant uh, victory for us. So. Well, it's good to hear that obviously I houses and association are working on behalf of individual landlords and, and, and stopping this indiscriminate use of, of regulations to, to sort of, let's face it, also to raise revenues perhaps. Well, yes, but we're very, very anxious to continue working with Brighton and Hove and we do urge them to continue working with us to weed out those bad properties and those bad landlords. We don't want them either, but not 27,000 of them. Right. So just to clarify to, 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 to uh, viewers of, of this, what, what is the difference between, say, selective licensing and additional licensing and HMO licensing? Because, you know, many people don't understand this. No, no, it is confusing. There's three fa flavours of licensing. There's mandatory licensing, which covers all HMOs, house of multiple occupancy of five occupiers or more. There's additional licensing, which is for the smaller uh, HMOs, which is at the discretion of the local authority if they're bringing in or not. Uh, Brighton have brought some in, and then if they want to license non-HMOs, it's selective licensing. Different parts of the, uh, the Housing Act, slightly confusing, slightly different rules, different local authorities apply in different ways. But it's very important for individual landlords to be aware of these regulations and obviously being a part of iHouse uh, and any other landlords association for that matter would enable you to be more informed and up to date with, with, with the potential fine that you, you, if you if you are doing this in ignorance. Yes, uh, the fine was changed from 30,000 to unlimited. So there's a bad fine there if you get it wrong and you really don't want to get it wrong. Uh, people often say, I don't think my property should be licensed. Okay, they might argue that. If you need a license, get one, because you do need it. We will argue the case to, to not have it in the first case, but if it's been brought in, get a license. Well, it's good to hear, Peter. So what Peter's just said really underlines the value of being a member of iHouse, a landlord's association, uh, particularly one which is, is so embedded in, in an understanding uh, within your local area. So it's Richard Bowser here with Peter Littlewood, um, of, of I house. Uh, how's that spelled? I H O W Z. As in up there. <laughs> Peter, thanks for your time today. And thank you, Richard. See you next time.